overall thoughts on what was a very eventful afternoon at Easter Road? Um, probably more disappointing than it, but there's some real good stuff in it as well. And that's the goals we can see they're very, very sloppy, you know. And um, some the two young boys that started the game were very, very good, Alex and and, and, and Danny. Uh, thought Danny particularly had a fantastic first half. Alex probably better again the second half, you know. And, and young Ross come on to score a real good goal as well. So should be talking about them, but. Um, we're talking about silly goals we gave away. I mean, we should have won the game. I don't think there's any doubt about that. We had enough chances to win the game, and on top of the three we scored, we had a few more. So disappointed with with, with the outcome, but some positives to take out, I suppose, with the young players. You mentioned that like, obviously a mixed display going forward. We looked really good, and obviously there were some lapses in concentration, perhaps at the back. Is it just about trying to get that balance right? No, oh, we spoke about that for most of the season. That's been a problem for us. We the goals you can see they're not teams tearing us apart they're opening us up or you know we just switched off you know and I think the bigger problem we have is when we're attacking um, we're just switching off defensively and not uh, managing the game and we've got to work on that we've been trying to work on that we've told the players you can't affect the, the attacking end of it if you're defending so make sure that you're switched on to what's going on around you Inspired substitution though Ross Caldwell was with his first senior goal you must have been delighted with the way that he responded I'm delighted for Ross because I said to him, "Go on, go on and give me a headache. Give me, give me, give me something to say to play it in the next few weeks." And it didn't take him too long to do that. In fairness to him, but he's got that. Ross has has that ability to do that. I thought he did much better today than he did against Aberdeen. He did okay against Aberdeen, but today I thought he did quite well. Held the ball up for us and a fantastic finish for the goal. I'm delighted for him because uh, he's seeing Danny and Alex, who he's close, good pals, do really well, and now he's come in and added to it as well. So it's it's, it's great for the trade him. Tom Tywo and Huawei Claris as well were excellent, I thought, yeah, in the middle well, of the That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of good stuff in it, and you know, you, you're disappointed because of the goals we conceded. You know, we, we like if you take the, the game and you look at it and you take all the real good stuff out, like you say, Horgan and Tom were, were very, very good for us, the two wide players. Front two did okay. Doyler probably didn't do as well as he he, he has done, but um, you know, there's a lot of positives in that, but we we just shot ourselves in the foot, we have silly goals, you know.